So there were two questions I got in my last video when I said that we got a dumpster to declutter our house. The first one was, how do I get a dumpster? And the second one was, why do you need a dumpster? Why can't you just donate and or sell your stuff, you wasteful POS? <laughs> Sometimes you have things in your house that you've accumulated over the past decade that you either can't donate because they're in a state of disrepair and you can't like sell them on Facebook Marketplace. So a couple examples of that were a metal table that we had on our front porch. It was literally like rusted out the whole thing. Like I'm not gonna donate that to Goodwill. I'm not gonna try to sell that on Facebook Marketplace. The other thing about taking time to sell things is like that takes a lot of time and I don't have <laughs> a lot of time. So another example, one of our recycle bins, okay? So one of our recycle bins that we put out on trash day, the wheels are gone. We need a new one. What, what do we do with that? Like, I'm not gonna sell that on Facebook Marketplace. I'm not gonna donate that <laughs> to Goodwill. So the only thing really to do with it is to throw it away. To answer the other question of how do I get a dumpster? Well, I'm kind of lucky, I guess, in a sense, because my stepdad has a dump trailer and he just brought it over and parked it in our driveway. And then we took it down to the landfill and then you pay for disposal per pound. However, if you don't have a family member or an acquaintance <laughs> with a dump trailer, you can just call whoever takes your trash every week or even just Google like dumpster rental near me and they will probably have one for you to rent. And the good thing is if you rent it from a place, a lot of times they'll come and dispose of it for you so then you don't have to do that step. Really the thing is that you're probably holding on to stuff that is like impacting your mental health and your peace. And that is really what I'm trying to get rid of this year is like all the crap I don't need because it's just causing extra stress and clutter and stuff in my house that I don't need and or want. So this weekend I have some more decluttering and cleaning and organizing that I wanna do. So come along with me and let's get it all done. For Saturday morning breakfast, I decided to make some pancakes and bacon. It's been a while since I've made pancakes for breakfast. So today was the day I had some bacon in the fridge. So I just fried that up in the skillet. Sometimes I like to make it in the oven, but when I'm running short on time, I just go ahead and cook it on the stove. Lately, I've also been trying to use up what's in my pantry and I had some pancake mix in there. So I decided to use that to make up the pancakes, which makes it super easy. And honestly, they turn out uh, really well. And sometimes I make pancakes from scratch. In fact, there is a uh, from scratch pancake recipe in uh, my cookbook, which I make a lot, but definitely to use what I have and save time, I decided to do this. And I'm just cooking these in a skillet with a little bit of cooking spray and added a little bit of butter and syrup to the pancakes, put the bacon on the side and boom, everybody was happy. After breakfast, it's time to take my vitamins and you know what makes it super easy to take my vitamins? Care of. Thank you to Care of for sponsoring today's video. You guys know I've worked with them before here on my channel. And honestly, the thing that is a barrier to most things in my life is convenience and speed. And if I can get my personalized vitamins right from Care of, shipped right to my door in convenient little packages, my life is much easier. If you're not familiar with Care of, they are actually a subscription service that ships high quality personalized vitamins, supplements, and powders conveniently to your door every month. You basically just go on their website and you take a short in-depth quiz about your lifestyle and health goals for a personalized doctor backed recommendation. It takes the guesswork out of what supplements are best suited for you. Like I said, the individual packs are super convenient, not just for when I'm home, but you guys know I travel a lot for work. And so they're really easy to just toss in my toiletry bag and take with me on the road as well. One of the reasons why I make sure to take my vitamins consistently is so that my energy levels stay up. I don't have time to have low energy and I find that staying on top of my vitamin regimen really helps me. That's just my personal experience, but it honestly is super, super helpful. The best part is, is that Care Of is offering my viewers 50% off their first order. So you can go to takecareof.com 
and use code JohnChapin50 and you're going to get 50% off your first care of order. So I'm super excited for you guys to try them. Make sure you check out that link in the description box below and use my code. So now I'm going to get started on cleaning up the kitchen. So I always feel like I have so many dishes to do <laughs> on Saturday morning because I feel like they pile up a bit over the last two nights of the week. Normally we have pizza on Friday nights, so I don't have many dishes, but sometimes they're left over in my sink from Thursday. What can I say? So I hope I loaded the dishwasher and got that done. And then uh, I'm just letting the rest of the dishes soak and I will wash them later. Next, I wanted to get started on some laundry. Laundry is something that I feel like as my kids get older is getting easier because they can do it themselves. Uh, Adam does his own laundry. Kira does her own laundry. Connor, I've been teaching him how to do his. So um, I help him, you know, wash it and then he folds it himself and puts it away. So you moms of little kids, don't worry. It gets easier and better as your kids get older and they can start doing things for themselves. Thank goodness. So it's about three o'clock and we're actually gonna go to a movie this afternoon. I think it's called Shazam. I don't know. Connor and Adam wanted to go, so I said I would go with them. So yeah, I haven't been super productive today, but I did get some things done on the computer that I needed to get done for YouTube. So that was good. So we'll go to the 3.30 movie. I think it's a couple hours. So come home, make dinner and decide what we're gonna do next. Well, I fell asleep during the movie if that tells you how exciting it is okay so for dinner i pulled some chili out of the fridge earlier so or out of the freezer earlier so i'm just heating that up i've got a packet of cornbread mix so i'm gonna make that and then i've also got some hot dogs kira doesn't care for chili so she'll probably have some hot dogs and then i'll see what veggies and fruit are in the fridge i can cut up go ahead and spray this dish and put it in the oven to heat up. Okay, I got some applesauce <laughs> out. We're gonna have that with some cinnamon sugar, cheese, crackers. I also made some lemonade. And then I heated up the chili and cornbread is done. And I also cut up some cucumbers. I've got tomatoes, chips, hot dogs, corn dogs. Hi guys. Hi guys. All right, good Sunday morning. It is about 7.45 in the morning and we're gonna go out for breakfast with my stepdad this morning. Adam and I are, the kids are still sleeping. <laughs> so I just let the dogs out and I didn't really get a ton of stuff accomplished yesterday. So I really need to make a list and get all of that stuff done today. A lot of times what I find on the weekends is that Saturday is more of my unproductive day and that's totally fine. I mean, obviously, if you work all week, you need, you know, a little bit of a day to like relax and decompress. But today I want to get my groceries ordered. I want to meal plan for the week. I want to work on my two junk drawers that I have down here in the kitchen. They are terrible. I need to get them cleaned out. And then I also want to go through my closet and see what I want to either donate or sell on Poshmark. Connor is also going to have a friend over this afternoon, so he's super excited about that so i need to go pick him up around noon i think i also need to get a video live today if i put more stuff on here i definitely will get it done and i'll be mad at myself one thing i was going to mention too that we use is uh the app called green light it's actually super easy and you can give your kids chores to do and a checklist and then as long as they check off their chores every week they get their allowance so i'll link it down below it's super easy it helps kids learn how to be responsible manage their money and especially for kira it is really really valuable because then she has her own debit card that she can use when she goes out shopping or to the movies with her friends. So after I got the dogs fed, we went and had breakfast with uh, my stepdad. I always love going out for breakfast. I treated myself to some corned beef hash because I haven't had it <laughs> in quite a while. And then when I got home, I just kind of sat on the couch and started making my meal plan for the week and my grocery list. I've been pretty lax on meal planning lately, so I definitely need to uh, hold myself to that more. It makes life so much easier 
you guys know that if you meal plan and make sure you have everything on hand, it just kind of uh, erases that ridiculous question, like what's for dinner every night? That's so stressful. So I'm out here in the garage and I just spent some time going through and kind of cleaning out this freezer, which is a mess. It actually needs to be defrosted. There's like two inches of ice all over the dang thing, um, but it's still cold here. It's like in the 20s today. So once it starts getting consistently warm again, um, I'm gonna take everything out of it, defrost it, deal with that. But I did find um, a roast in there for this week. I found some bacon, um, cause I'm gonna do breakfast for dinner one day. And then what else did I find <laughs> in there? It's always good to do a little bit of inventory. Oh, burger. I found some burger patties and some ground beef. So. Less things that I have to buy at the grocery store because groceries are freaking expensive. Okay, so it's a good thing I went through my freezer and stuff before I placed my grocery order because I was able to save a little bit of money by using things I already have. So I got two things done, order groceries, meal plan. I'm gonna go work on my video next. Ta-da! Okay, let me bring all these in. I'll show you a grocery haul. I got two bags of grapes this week. My kids have really been loving the green grapes. Another thing I've been doing is if I find any squishy grapes or as they sit in the fridge for a while and kind of start to go south a little bit, I'll take them and put them in the freezer and then put a packet of sugar-free Jello in there. I don't know if you guys have ever tried the frozen grapes with the sugar-free Jello, but the kids <laughs> really seem to like them. I got some bell peppers, a three pack of those. We really like those to snack on and for salads, some sugar snap peas two cartons of strawberries, and then two packs of blackberries. I got a bag of potatoes. I'll show you the meal plan also for this week. I'm gonna make pot roast at some point. What, what do you want, sir? Do you want a bone? You want a bone? There you go. We are out of apples, so I got another bag of those for the week, and then some green onions. They substituted organic tomatoes, a head of iceberg lettuce. I got this this week instead of the shredded lettuce just because I wasn't quite sure what I was going to use it for yet. A bag of the mini cucumbers, a bag of uh, cutie or halo oranges. The kids really like to take those in their lunches. Some cherry tomatoes, and then I got a big bag of broccoli. I think I'm going to cook some of that up for dinner tonight, and then whatever we'll do with the rest of it. Um, I got some dry pinto beans. I'm gonna cook these in the crock pot and just have them on hand for refried beans and bowls throughout the week. Some hot dogs, two bags of cheese sticks. I got some sliced Munster cheese for sandwiches. And then Connor asked specifically for these pepperoni paninos, so I got a couple of those. Some eggs. Um, I got some of the light and fit strawberry banana protein smoothies for Connor and then chocolate milk, regular milk and buttermilk. I got that for some dressing that I want to make garden vegetable cream cheese. We still have some bagels left over from last week and some cottage cheese. I eat that every day. 0% Faye Greek yogurt. I use this for dressings and dips and different recipes, some sour cream. Um, I got a six pack of the Dan and light and fit yogurt. There's half strawberry, half blueberry in there. Some feta cheese for salads, French onion dip because we have some plain chips in the pantry to use up. And then for lunch meat, I got some turkey, some salami, and some ham. I got some sharp cheddar cheese. That's what Kira likes on her sandwiches. If I didn't tell you, Kira has decided to go back to not being a pescatarian. She was a pescatarian for a while. I don't know, probably about three months. And she decided not to do that anymore, so. Don't, don't ask me why, because I, she has not been able to articulate it to me and I'm not gonna push it, so <laughs> I don't know. In case we needed shredded cheese or any type of cheese, I guess, I got uh, just a block of sharp cheddar, some lemon lime jello, sugar-free for the kids' lunches, and some turkey pepperoni. Um, I got some of the artisano white bread, some buns for the hot dogs, some buns for hamburgers and chicken sandwiches. I got two packs of chicken breast that we'll use for something this week, I don't know. Um, I got some dried beef. I get this every once in a while and just keep it in the pantry. Sometimes Adam likes the chipped 
they call it chipped beef gravy. We, I mean, you call it shit on a shingle is what we always call it, but some people know it as something fancier than that. <laughs> um, I got some uh, butter. I think I'm gonna make some chocolate chip cookies, maybe. I'm not sure. I need to see if I have time for that today. Some of this pop and bottle uh, coffee concentrate. If you've never seen this before, I highly recommend it. You can mix it with milk for iced latte, or you can mix it with water for an iced coffee. Ketchup, ranch dressing. Uh, this is my favorite kind of nacho cheese. It's only 35 calories for two tablespoons, and I really like putting it on bowls. I got some more of my Kodiak protein pancake mix, some sugar-free cheesecake jello pudding, some salsa. I got Tostitos, restaurant-style medium, and Chi Chi's mild salsa. I got some more of this Thai sweet chili sauce. The kids really like dipping their popcorn shrimp in that. Some Capri Sun. I got a couple of cans of soup for Adam to take to lunch this week for work. Some applesauce for Connor. Some saltine crackers, because we're all out of those. Some mini pancakes. Connor likes to have those for breakfast with the American Dream nut butter, which is like the protein peanut butter I get. Some hash browns. I think we're gonna do breakfast for dinner one night this week. Spinach wraps for Kira. Some of the carb balance wraps for me. Uh, these are the honey battered breast chicken breast tenders. Connor really likes those. If you've never tried this frozen sesame broccoli before, it's really good. A box of chips for lunch boxes. This is upside down because the kids already started eating it. Um, some garlic bread for a side one night this week. Turkey sausage patties for breakfast. I like to make um, breakfast sandwiches with these. And then of course I got the dogs some treats, different raw hides, some greenies. Napkins, we're all out of those. Uh, laundry, sanitizer, I really like this. I got some different scent beans. Um, these are the greenies pill pockets. I give Murphy his uh, joint, hip and joint medicine with these. And then some body wash for Adam and then we were all out of soda so I stocked up Diet Mountain Dew. Diet 7-Up, Diet Cherry Pepsi, and Diet Dr. Pepper. So for dinner tonight, I actually made a freezer meal that I had on hand, and this is a buffalo chicken pasta. This is my first time trying this recipe, and it turned out so good. So I'll link uh, the recipe that I based it off of down below, but basically you cook the uh, buffalo chicken, and then you add the pasta in at the end, and it cooks in the sauce. I put it in bowls and topped it with green onion, and this was delicious. I will definitely be making it again, and it was super simple. Here is what is on the menu plan, meal plan, menu plan, whatever <laughs> for this week. So Sunday we've got burgers or chicken sandwiches, roasted potatoes and broccoli. Um, I actually did not end up really making this tonight. I kind of made a mishmash of things. I made some buffalo chicken pasta in the slow cooker um, that I needed to get out of the freezer. And then I made some chicken nuggets for Connor and his friend and some tortellini for Kira. And then Adam and I ate the pasta. So we'll have to maybe move this to a different night or figure something else out. Pot roast on Monday with potatoes and carrots. I have some Rhodes uh, bread dough in the freezer. So I want to use that up. Tuesday, chicken Alfredo with salad and garlic bread. Wednesday, we're going to do breakfast. Thursday, we're getting carry out from a local place that does it twice a month pay 60 bucks and you get a family meal uh, this week they're having pulled pork sandwiches and it's a really great deal and I don't have to cook it so that's awesome and then Friday night we always have pizza what do you need do you need to go outside what do you want you were just outside you were just outside you want to go again oh hello shocker it's actually the following weekend so let me tell you guys what happened on Sunday. Obviously I ran out of time to do the things that I wanted to get done. I really want to clean out these two junk drawers in my kitchen, which are in a ridiculous state. Um, and then I also wanted to basically clean out my closet and start kind of parsing some of my clothes out, gift goodwill. Well, I didn't get that stuff done <laughs> last weekend because ended up that Adam had some family here from out of town and so we ended up going over to his parents house on Sunday evening and spending a few hours over there and sometimes that happens you know I rarely 
do everything that I set out to do on a weekend. In fact, I have my to-do list right here that I wrote. So I did order groceries, a meal planned, the junk drawers I did not do, clean out my closet did not do, post on Poshmark. I did actually post some of my stuff on Poshmark that I had cleaned out in a previous video, so I'll link my closet down below if you're interested. And then I did get my video done last weekend, so you know, I did do some things on my to-do list, so it's not a total loss. I haven't quite figured out, you know, how to, set smart goals for myself <laughs> apparently i help people do that all the time at work and for some reason just applying it to myself doesn't always doesn't always work out but i do want to tell you guys so i have been cleaning out my kitchen i have gotten rid of so much stuff i have donated so many boxes and carloads of stuff to Goodwill because I have so many cabinets in my kitchen that I just, you know, you just collect stuff. And of course, doing a lot of cooking videos, you know, you're constantly collecting new cooking gadgets and things like that. So I do feel really good about the amount of stuff that I've been able to kind of declutter so far. My goal is really to declutter half my stuff this year. I think I'm gonna be able to do that. I think it's gonna make me a lot less stressed, a lot happier, a lot less mentally cluttered, if you will. I think my difficulty has been just thinking that I can do these large projects in small amounts of time. And uh, I'm just here to tell you that <laughs> it really can't be done most of the time. And I get frustrated with myself. I really shouldn't because, you know, I do have kind of a finite amount of time that I really can work on these things. And I also have to balance resting during the weekend as well sometimes because basically during the week I'm either traveling for work or working and then when I'm not working like at the end of the day after work I'm running kids to practice I'm editing videos I'm working on YouTube stuff don't get me wrong I'm not complaining I love having a super busy life it's just trying to fit in projects around that and sometimes challenging so you're probably asking me well Jen why aren't you doing that stuff this weekend why aren't you cleaning out your junk drawer why aren't you cleaning out your closet well yesterday I uh filmed a class a freezer meal class that um a different site is kind of hiring me to do so I did that yesterday and honestly that took the whole day from like the planning the shopping the filming the you know getting the meals together and everything and it was so funny it's a it's like filmed in a live webinar format you know so i'm like filming and i had told everyone what i was doing like hey can you stay out of the kitchen for like 30 minutes or whatever okay fine it was after dinner everyone was fed everyone was fine so here i am down here filming this webinar and connor like keeps coming repeatedly downstairs and i'm like oh hey buddy i'm i'm live so then he, he had his ipad and he kept like holding up his ipad he's like are you live on youtube <laughs> i'm trying to ignore him because i'm like if i just ignore him you know maybe he'll go away <laughs> then he's like are you live on twitch and it's like i don't even know how to go live on twitch if i even if i wanted to <laughs> you know the webinar is supposed to be in like one continuous cut well my camera my g7x only records for like 18 minutes and shuts off so it shut off like twice while i was recording and i'm like this is like this is gonna be a hot mess so what i need to do um probably today is work on editing that into one big long piece but i digress that's what i did yesterday um i also cooked dinner last night and then um today actually i'm going out of town to a conference for work so i actually have to leave for the airport at nine o'clock at 6 30 right now and at first i thought okay let's let's clean out the junk drawers this morning let's get it done let's not disappoint my friends on youtube but the reality is is that I really want to do a good and thorough job of cleaning these drawers out because um, this this piece of the counter right here where I'm talking about where like the junk drawers are at is the dumping ground of the kitchen, right? It's where people like, come in from the garage, they put their keys, they put their sunglasses, they put their junk mail, you know, just a lot of junk. And so what I really want to do is I really want to have the time to kind of organize these drawers so that some of those things can be in there and then be like hidden from view a little bit. Anyway, that was a really long way of telling you that I didn't get everything done that I wanted to get done, but what projects are you guys working on right now? Help me feel better about 
how much stuff that I need to get done that I haven't gotten done. <laughs> Thanks just for always being here and listening to me ramble. Um, it's still surreal to me that so many of you watch my videos and I actually just got uh, an email from somebody saying that um, she appreciates you know being able to watch my channel since um, I'm another working mom and there's not a lot of working mom representation on YouTube so always always proud to represent us us women who who work outside the home so anyway thanks again and I will see you I don't know when I'll see you but I'll see you in the next video bye